Hello guys, today I'm gonna compare two most popular Hydro DPS. Our first candidate is number 11 of the Harbingers also known as Child, and our second candidate is head of the Kamisato clan, as known as Ayato. Both are incredibly strong DPS. Today I'm gonna compare their DPS showdown. Let's see who will win the match. And welcome to my YouTube channel Kill for Survive. In today's video we compare them as F2P. In this whole showdown I use 20% crit rate buff for their full damage potential. First we will compare their raw damage without any damage buff. Then we will see what they can do with their support team. After that we use food buff to check out their max damage potential. And at last we compete them in hell of gentian impact. I mean spiral abyss floor 12. Now let's check out their build. Arsen is Nyaman Tartaglia child at level 85, and attributes are 1832 attack with 60.6% .6 crit rate and 164.5% crit damage. He use F2P one of the best option bow blacklift. His artifacts are 2 piece heart of depth and 2 piece noblesse oblige. Constellation 0. Talents are double crowned. Our Boba T Addict Deato at level 90, and attributes are 2080 attack with 70.7% .7 crit rate and 178.8% crit damage. He use F2P one of the best option sword Blackleaf. His artifacts are 4 piece gladiators finale. Constellation 0. Talents are double crowned. Now let's start the video. First we check out their raw damage potential in solo without any damage buff. And our first victim is Pyro Regisbeam. Mind the daily. Tidal wave. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. In Child's sight his elemental burst gives a massive damage, and his skill deals a decent damage. In Ayato's sight he pre-perform his elemental burst, then active his elemental skill. His burst gives him 20% normal attack bonus at talent level 10. In this match Ayato is winner. Now let's check out their damage potential with their support team. Our next victim is everyone's favorite punching bag Primo Geo Bishop. Since you have been watching my video yet I think you are enjoying it. Check out my channel and other contents if you also liked it, then please subscribe my channel and give me a support. In this match child has his national team. Sucras have a big role to play here. She pass elemental mastery to entire team and decrease enemies elemental resistance. In this way, all party members performances increases. And Ayato has his national team also. In this side Yun Jin have a big role to play here. She buffed Ayato's normal attack by 61% at talent level 11. But unfortunately Ayato lose this match. Now let's check out their max damage potential with food buff. Our next victim is world boss Electro Arkan, Almighty Shogun. Mind the damage. Everybody stand back! You're so going in! Hey, you nice Your grand finale! You can run! Be still! Can't hide! Absurd! Illusions of our destructions! Illusions of our destructions! Yeah! Let's light it up! Here we go! Shut 
dead. Oh, yeah. Inside, inside. Can be broken. Off we go. Adventure time. Although Child win this match but both are perform very well. This two Hydro DPS are incredibly strongest, no doubt. Child stays a few seconds ahead for the huge damage multiplication of his elemental burst. Otherwise both team are unstoppable. Now let's go to the hell of Genshin Impact. We will compete them in Floor 12, Chamber 3, Second Half. So here is the result. I don't want to offend anyone. This result depends on my character build up and my playstyle. Maybe you can do better, with more invest on them. But I'm pretty sure this result not will change as F2P let me know your opinion in the comment section. Bye and take care.